Let's talk about the worst protein in the entire world. One day I was at Whole Foods. I was really hungry. You should never shop when you're really hungry. And I was looking in the deli area and they had some uh, small little chicken wings. So I, I ordered those. They looked really good. Uh, I noticed that they all looked like they were the same shape though, but I didn't think much of it at the time. And uh, so I'm driving home, I'm eating these chicken wings and I'm like, wow, these are really good. And it's almost too good. And yes, I did wonder why there was no bones in these chicken. Maybe I thought they were like boneless chicken wings. And uh, anyway, I got home and I looked in the mirror. My eyes were completely bloodshot. I started feeling sick, extremely tired, nauseous. I went to bed. I slept for like three hours. I woke up feeling drunk. I called Whole Foods and I said, what were in those chicken wings? Well, those were plant-based chicken wings made with a type of protein called textured vegetable protein, AKA textured soy protein. That is the worst protein a human could eat from my viewpoint. And of course the vegetable they're using is soy. Now, sometimes they use cottonseed as the vegetable. I didn't know cotton was a vegetable, and I don't know of many people eating cotton. But in 1960, they invented this protein, okay? Because they had to figure out what to do with all the waste from the seed oils that they were making. So they had a great idea. Let's turn this into protein, and we'll sell it as food. And now it's in veggie burgers. It's in fake meat products, fake hot dog products. It's in cereals, it's in kids' lunches, it's in a lot of different things. It is an ultra-processed ingredient. The word processed means to remove, okay? When you ultra-process something, you severely remove things from it. So they're taking the oil from the soybean, they're taking the nutrients, they're taking the fiber from it, they're heating it, they're putting chemicals, solvents like hexane, which by the way is in gasoline. And then you might ask yourself like, how do they pull the hexane out of there? Do they use another chemical? Do they leave some of the residue in there? Well, there's no long-term safety studies. There's no upper limit that the FDA has put on hexane in your food. I mean, if there's a condition called chronic hexane toxicity. Well, that's mainly uh, if you inhale it, but what if you're ingesting it all the time, especially since almost one third of our calories are seed oils. This product is something that has a very unique, weird shape to it. It has all these holes in it, and apparently it'll absorb three times its weight in liquid. So it basically acts as a super sponge, and over 95% of it is GMO. In nature, when you eat protein, it has a lot of things in it. It has vitamins and minerals and all sorts of things. Uh, So when you're eating this thing that's only a protein, What happens when you eat it, it has to rob nutrients from your liver. And so this relates to a similar product called soy protein isolates. So that's number two. That's almost the worst protein. But I think this uh, textured vegetable protein is even lower than that. But with the soy protein isolates, I mean, that's like in like cheese, cereal, infant formulas, And that too extracts nutrients from your liver, from your tissues. In practice, there was a diet that people went on, it was really popular, called Ideal Protein. And the type of protein that they use was not ideal, it was this soy protein isolate. And I noticed this, a high percentage of people on that diet had a lot of problems with the liver, had a lot of problems with the the gallbladder. And when you turn a soybean, into this soy protein isolate, the next step is to acidify it. And then you're adding bleach to take the color out and then the deodorizers. And it is also in the category of ultra processed food. There's something else I wanna share with you called protein poisoning. Another name for that would be rabbit starvation. If someone is out in the wilderness and they consume just rabbit meat, which is extremely lean. There's like hardly any fat. It's just like pure protein. They can get pretty sick, okay? They can start developing uh, fatigue, diarrhea, and even die. And so anytime you're eating just like a pure protein powder, realize that you're gonna create stress on the body, especially if there's not key nutrients in there, especially the fat-soluble nutrients. 
So when you're eating this just pure protein without these other factors, you're going to be extracting and depleting fat-soluble nutrients. Also, when you're using high heat with these amino acids from soy, you're creating toxins as well. And one of the toxins has an effect on the kidneys where it can enlarge the kidney cell itself. That's called lysinoalanine. And also there's different uh, versions of this processed soy. You have something called hydrolyzed soy. That's a little bit different. That's a flavor enhancer, okay? And what they do with that is they take these long uh, protein chains and they cut them down so they're shorter. And that's used mainly for a flavor enhancer. In Asia, they consume a lot of soy, but usually it's not all GMO and it's fermented. Now that you learn the worst protein in the world, let's talk about the healthiest protein in the world. And that video is right here. Check it out.